Hello piggy people and welcome back to my channel, a place where we speak about guinea pigs from an adult's perspective as I believe all guinea pigs should be owned by adults. So today's video I am going to be speaking about updates on Apple on Annabelle and Annalise. So first let's start with Apple. If you don't know what's going on with Apple, up in the iCards I will send you over to her videos about bladder stones. So as of right now, it is a Sunday, and coming up on Friday will be two weeks since she's been diagnosed with bladder stones in her urethra, and as of this morning, she still at least has one, if not all of them, in her urethra, as she still does the heave after some of her pees, and sometimes I'll catch her whining when she's peeing. So one of the biggest ways I can tell that she still has something up there is like her stream of pee is not one continuous stream it comes out in like spurts so obviously something is blocking the flow still Valerie from Valerie's uh, cozy shop and piggy stop is sending us a product to help flush her bladder out so we're really keeping our fingers crossed that that's going to help get them out I would be lying if I said I'm not a little bit frustrated because I've done Lots of loading her up on veggies, warm hot baths for her to pee a ton, and we're just not seeing any results yet. She's on paid medication still, her antibiotics finish on Friday, and we're doing the Sherwood urinary support tablets twice a day. So I just want them to get out. Get out, get out, get out. I do not have another x-ray booked, a lot of people were asking about that. I was just going to wait to get another x-ray if there was a reason to, as in something changed for the worse, which obviously I hope not, or if all of a sudden she's not doing any of those signs that she has something stuck just so that I could confirm that yes they are all gone. So until something changes, I'm not going to bother getting an x-ray, just going to work on trying to get those out. So with that said, um, Annie, I believe she's sleeping somewhere in here. I had planned on doing it last week of introducing Annie to the herd, but since Apple's not 100%, we are holding off on that. Because Apple could be feeling crabby, her immune system could be compromised, who knows. Uh, so I don't want to put on an extra stress on her with introductions, and also it just wouldn't be fair if she's at all crabby maybe a confrontation could start between her and Annie when it wouldn't otherwise. So just for everybody's safety and comfort, we are going to wait till we are all clear before I try those introductions. I feel fairly positive about them, but again, you never know what could happen. Uh, Annie is really comfortable around the entire herd coming up and saying hi. I've done tons of bed switches, so like, her tunnel there and her couch there were from the herd's cage this morning and then the herd got her cuddle cup and her cozy tunnel there so that all the scents are mixing and matching so that everybody can get more used to them and I think it's good that she gets used to their scent being in her cage theirs and theirs so that kind of you know everything is co-mingling whether that does anything, I don't know, but I figured it can't hurt for everybody to kind of get used to the fact that their scents are going to be mixing. So then we have um, Annabelle over here, who she's been a little bit quieter for the last couple weeks. So at first when she got moved out on her own, she seemed really active and excited. Now I kind of feel like she's a little quieter off in this corner. So I'm working on trying to decide whether I want to move her cage right here. So if you guys remember, Bullseye was up in this section right here when you walk in the door. So I was thinking that maybe that would be more comfortable for her rather than being kind of feeling like she's in the back corner. So I'm debating about that because the other thing was if Annie gets along with the herd well and once they're nicely bonded, I was going to put this cage section back up and put Annabelle in there. Because when I first do introductions and getting them to live together, I'm going to have that down because I don't want any small pathways while everybody's getting used to one another. So that was my idea 
which I would still like to hold off on, but if Annabelle's going to keep being quiet, then I feel like she needs a bit more attention. So I was thinking of moving her up here. But ideally, it would be nice if we could wait till Annie joins the herd and then she could be there. So we'll see. Oh, Apple's doing a little crying there. Oh, I just would love to, after she pees, to find some. You have no idea, like, the satisfaction that would give me to be like, yes, they are moving. It's so frustrating. So, anyway. I, oh, I did change things a tiny bit. So, Annabelle had a 3x3. Three three, so, there was no point of her having a 3x3. Three three. The 2x3 three is more than big enough. So, I decided to give Angus and Autumn, since they're so active and crazy, like, the extra section which actually really helps out their cage. It's kind of crazy because you think adding just another 1x3 section wouldn't be a crazy amount more, but it really is. It really gives a lot more space. So I do have a panel here. Um, uh, Angus was scared having this section open to the herd, so I have that up there. He's a really nervous dude. Runs with the family where they're crazy. Autumn really wanted to see everybody, so just supervised I have it down and she was talking a bunch to Huckle and Apple but she seemed really sassy with Raisin so I ended up putting it back um, and I, there's still the plexiglass between Annabelle and Angus and Autumn because those guys don't like each other so that was another reason that I thought Annabelle would do fine being moved over because I don't think she gets any benefit of seeing Angus and Autumn since she doesn't like them Whereas she's fine with the herd. Is she a bit sassy? Yes, but she doesn't have the hate for them like she does Angus and Autumn. And another thing I was still debating on is whether to get her spade or not. Because there was one day she was being um, pretty dominant, walking up and down this line here, rumbling and squeaking and squawking. So I'm sure she was in heat at the time. So part of me was thinking, you know, maybe she would benefit from being spayed as well. But, again, like my very first thing that I just kind of want to knock off my list is getting Annie with the herd or not. Because that's going to change what decisions I make. Because if Annie doesn't go with the herd, then I have a lot of choices of what's going to be the best for everybody. Because as I said in my other video... I really do not feel like having more than 10 guinea pigs. I feel like 10 is my max that I'm comfortable at. And even at 10, it's a lot. It's a lot of money. It's a lot of love to spread around. It's a lot of food. It's a lot of cleaning. A lot of laundry. So, and then if you get Annie a, a friend, then obviously I'd feel compelled to have Annabelle a friend. And then that puts me at 12 pigs, which I really am not comfortable at. So, obviously the best bet would be that Annie goes with the herd, and if she goes with the herd and seems really calm and different, as in her behaviors, how she was with Annabelle, then I would really consider getting Annabelle spayed. If I see a very big difference with Annie and how she interacts with guinea pigs after being spayed, then yeah, I think I would think about getting Annabelle spayed for the intention of perhaps adding her to the herd eventually. I would do the same thing with having her close to everybody, letting her have a long time for recovery and to calm down and get the hormones out and then try. Because even though Annalise and Annabelle one-on-one -on -one don't like each other, there's a lot of factors there. A, they're one-on-one -on -one, so there's no buffers. And two, both if they're both were super hormonal so it would change dynamics adding them after they were both spayed because then they'd have other six pigs for buffers and could you imagine what size of cage we could have guys if it went all the way here and all the way back there like it would be massive so they'd have a lot more room a lot more pigs to interact with and they wouldn't be forced to interact one on one so in a perfect world I would love if that's how we ended up getting Annie into this herd Moving Annabelle there, getting Annabelle spayed, and then moving her in with the herd. Would that be wicked? Yes. 
so we will just see how things play out because I have absolutely no idea because I feel good about Annie joining the, joining the herd just based off of how calm she is and how nicely she interacts with them through the bars but we all know you know it's gloves off once they're all in the same section being forced to live together so we'll see so right now Apple is my main concern and it's kind of put on the introductions to the back burner and then on the back back burner from that is what's going to be best for Annabelle where should I move her so that she feels the most comfortable and gets a bit more attention because like when I'm in the room I do feel like that back corner is too far away for my liking just since she's trying just since she's turned a little bit quieter so maybe I will just move her up here for now and then once we do the intros see what we want to do for cage setups anyway if you guys have any questions you can leave them down below so thank you guys for watching bye bye if you like watching guinea pig videos learning how to care for us seeing product hauls or reviews or really anything else guinea pig please subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so you never miss a video down below i've left two more videos for you to pick from so keep on watching.